Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to update your rooted or modded Nexus 6P to the latest version of Android O 8.1 and the OPM3 build of Android. So today we're going to be using Fastboot, we're going to take it nice and easy and uh, we're going to get started right away. So you need to head over to your computer and we're going to need to download a couple things. Make sure you have these things. Now obviously you'll need the platform tools and this is just ADB and Fastboot, things that are used to communicate with your phone from your computer. Now here in the download section, just click on the one that's right for your operating system. And also it's great to make sure that you have the latest version downloaded. Now you can check versions and I'll show you how to do that after or in a bit after I tell you what to download. But make sure you got the latest version here because there are some bug fixes here and there. And if you ever have any issues uh, to look for, this is something you want to look for to have the latest version of the platform tools. So now we've got that out of the way. Obviously, we'll also need Magisk, the latest version of this. I'll be using the stable version of Magisk this time. Now, 15.2 is the latest version at this time, but always just download the latest version of Magisk here. If you already have it on your phone, that's good as well. You're going to need to copy this latest version of Magisk to your phone anyways. Next up, we're going to download the factory image for our Nexus 6P. We're going to head over to Angler, which is our code name, and then scroll all the way down. And make sure you download the one that is right for you now I think, uh, well at least for the Pixel 2 there are two variants, but for this one there's just one that we can download, which is the one for January 2018. Now click on this blue download link and it'll just download the factory image straight away. And last but not least, if you have a phone or a 6P that suffers from the boot loop of death, you'll probably also want to try out or download the latest boot image that's patched for, where is it, here, that's patched for the latest build of Android O. So you can come here and download it, I'll have a link to this in the more info. Now please keep in mind that this patch, or this boot patch, isn't supposed to magically fix your device. Your device is still technically broken in some ways. You can probably take it to a repair shop where they can reball your SOC, as one person in this thread described. Or you want to put your money away and see if you can get a replacement device very soon. I'd only recommend this to get your data off and just use your phone just for a phone. Don't put anything important there anymore because your phone can you know, break further and you won't be able to use your phone after that. So here is the boot images if you need them and I'll show you what to do when the time comes. You just flash it instead of the boot image that comes out of the factory image. So all in all you'll have maybe about these three or four files. There's supposed to be Magisk here but it's already on my phone. But yeah, just copy the latest Magisk zip to your phone. I'll say that again. But that's about it. Now close my Steam library and so basically you're going to have these files. First up we're going to extract the platform tools that we need. So right here we're going to extract the fastboot.exe and the libwinpthread1 or dash1 DLL. We can just get away with using these two for now because we are only going to be using fastboot for this. No need for ADB. Next up we're going to open up the factory image and we're going to extract the things that we need from here. So I'm going to open up this folder and then we're going to extract the bootloader and radio images and then we're going to open up the image zip here and once that's open as usual we're going to extract the boot image, the system image and vendor image everything but the recovery image and now this is also a good chance for me to tell you that you'll want to download any other mods that you may have previously installed on your 6P so for example you had the pixel mod or you had maybe Viper for Android on your phone before, you'll want to download the latest versions of those and make sure it works with Android 8.1, especially this new build here, and also copy those zip files on your phone as well. And obviously you'll flash those after we finish updating when we go into TWRP to flash Magisk again. Now of course if you have any Magisk modules, you may need to disable them before updating in case it causes any issues, but I reckon you could just leave them there enabled without having to uninstall any existing modules that you may have installed but just keep that in mind that something like that may break your phone so it's also good to consider that so once you've extracted everything we can now go ahead and pretty much start updating our phone which is quite exciting so all we have to do is reboot our phone into the bootloader now to do this we're going to be holding the power button and then just choose restart with the phone plugged in of course and once the screen freezes or turns black we are going to hold volume down right now until we get into the bootloader. Now just keep holding it 
until it gets into the bootloader. So once it's in the bootloader, all you have to do is now head back to your computer where we are going to open up a command window or PowerShell window or terminal window to this very location, the same location that we are, which is eAndroid. So depending on where you saved your files, obviously it's gonna be different. But one thing is the same on Windows, at least for Windows, I think, XP or even Windows Vista and above. Make sure you have nothing selected, so nothing highlighted like this. Uh, if it's like that, that's fine. But all you have to do is hold Shift and right click in an empty space here, for example and then click on one of the buttons that best represents your options. So the one that opens a terminal window or a PowerShell window or even a command prompt window. Once you've got that sorted, you can see mine opened up a console emulator instead, just so I can zoom in on text and all that. And what you want to do is make sure your device is connected properly to fastboot. So we're going to type in fastboot devices like so. And you can see our serial number has been detected and that means and that represents our phone of course you can correlate it with the serial number you can see over here and it is the same one this is in case you got more than one phone plugged in which i don't recommend by the way we can now continue with the flashing process we're going to start with the bootloader i'm going to type in fast boot flash bootloader leave a space on the end there and just drag in the bootloader image and hit enter once your phone or once it's finished flashing Navigate on your phone to the reboot bootloader menu and hit power to select it and your phone will reboot back into the bootloader. Optionally you can type in the fastboot reboot dash bootloader command. Next up we're going to flash the updated radio image and then we'll type in fastboot flash radio. Leave a space in the end and drag in our radio image. Now once this is done, this is where we get to decide whether we need to flash the stock boot image or the patched boot image for those suffering the boot loop of death. Now fortunately I do not have that issue, so I'm going to be using the stock boot image which is just this one. Otherwise if you need the patched boot image that only uses 4 cores, you can go ahead and use the one that you can download on the XDA thread and use that image instead. And I'll let you know when to do that, which is quite soon. We're going to be flashing the boot image now. So I'm going to type in fast boot, flash boot, leave a space in the end and now you can choose whichever boot image you need to flash. So for me, I need to flash the normal boot image, I want to hit enter. And for those needing the patch boot image, you want to drag in your patch boot image instead. Okay. Now once that's done, we're going to flash the system image now. I'm going to type in fast boot, flash system, leave a space in the end, drag in our system image and then hit enter. Now this image is a sparse image and that will send it kind of bit by bit or in chunks. So this will roughly take maybe less, just less than a minute. So have some patience and just let this go through. Now I'm just going to speed this up until it finishes. Alrighty, so we finished flashing and just took a little over a minute, but that's fine. We're going to finish up by flashing the vendor image. So I'm going to type in fast boot. Flash vendor, leave a space in the end and drag in our vendor image. Where are we? Here we are. Hit enter. This should go through a little bit quicker since it's only 200 megs. Alright, so now we're done. All we have to do now is head back to our device where we'll finish up the rest of this updating process. We're going to start by rebooting into the recovery, which should still be TWRP. Hopefully you have it installed, otherwise uh, you can flash TWRP or just boot the TWRP image. But anyways, I have it flashed here. Now it's important that we boot into the recovery straight away is so that the stock boot image doesn't actually replace the or our custom recovery with the stock recovery. This is, I guess, uh, a pretty good measure, I would say. So in case your recovery gets corrupted, it will also already get replaced with a one that kind of works. So I'm just going to decrypt our data partition here. This is necessary if you have an encrypted data partition, which uh, most of you should have, but maybe those that are running the, I guess, the uh, four-core patched boot image may not have this. So here, a modified system partition. We'll keep it read-only. Uh, you can swipe to allow modifications. It doesn't really matter as long as you you want to update your phone like this every, every time. Mm. We want to hit install, and you notice I'm already in the Magisk Manager folder, but of course, first up, we're going to need to install Magisk. Mm -hmm. well, it doesn't matter which order you do this, really, I don't think. But install Magisk, 
and this will go through all its good stuff installing and rooting your phone now also you want to make sure here that you flash any mods that you want to keep such as maybe the pixel experience or pixel conversion mod or any other mods that you have used previously and you want to continue using those you want to flash them in TWRP as well otherwise you'll lose them and if you don't want them you don't have to flash them so once you've done it, flashing things in TWRP all you have to do is hit reboot system and then that's it you're going to wait for your phone to boot up all the way and from there you should see that you're on the latest version of Android and that you are still rooted with hopefully your magic module still intact and of course safety net passing as well so I'm going to speed up this process until we get back into the Android operating system and from there we'll just check out a few things alrighty our phone is booted back into Android now we're just going to quickly check on some things such as the build number you can see that notification for the OTA went away as well that is a pretty good sign so we're just going to quickly have a look here at about phone and there we are, we're on the OPM3, January 5th build, security level, sorry. Next up, uh, let's just open up FlashFi to see that we're still rooted. Of course, Magis can tell you anyway. And yep, we are still rooted, which is good. Well, I guess we won't worry too much about this, but uh, as long as you're rooted, I think that's probably the main point. Uh, we are willing to sacrifice a few things to have full control over our devices. So that's it, that's how you update your rooted phone, or 6P I should say to the latest version of Android, and then while doing that, updating our Magisk version as well. So thanks for watching guys, if you have any questions feel free to leave it down below, I'll try my best to answer those questions, and as always, happy flashing.